Howdy howdy Javad is here in this video we want to learn the new features that we have in Enscape 3.3 I'm really excited about this version this version has lots of big features and my favorite is site content for example the first one is site content you can bring the site context to the project very easily with just selecting the location of your project just go in here and click on site context and then click on add site context and in here specify the location of your project and you can see your building you can change the placement of your building for example let's bring it in here also you can rotate your building according to the site that you are selecting and then let's place our building in here then just click on and in here you can specify the parameters and the items that you want to import then click on import and wait and the magic happens and everything is gonna be okay you can see this is amazing but everything is not okay because uh, i think the things that enscape is doing it will uh, recognize the lowest face of your revit model or any modeling software you use and it will place the side on that part but for example, let's go back to the model and in here, let's uh, delete these uh, piles that we have. And after returning to the Enscape, you need to update your site context. To do that, click on this uh, menu in here and click on update site context and then click on import again. And also you can make this, uh, make this part bigger. For example, let's make it a little bit bigger. And now let's click on import again and now it will update your site uh, elevation again now you can see it is much better but it needs to adjust your building and your site models a little bit to fit it properly and this slope has a little bit slope in here so that's the case the next item the next feature that we have obviously if you have rtx and new versions of AMD uh, graphic cards you can use it you have better reflections for uh, transparent materials like water and glass and it will uh, it will be only available if you have a RTX a graphic cards you can see the difference in here and it will be difference between older version and the newer version of Enscape in these parts and also if you are designing educational uh, buildings and educational places you will be happy with this version of Enscape because when you go to the asset library in the tax part you will have a educational assets and new educational assets click on these tags in here and uh, scroll down and you can see the education part in here and now let's see them and you can have these uh, educational assets and let's place some of them These assets are great, but if you want to uh, get access to hundreds of Enscape ready to use assets and can change uh, the materials of them and they are scalable, make sure to check the EC asset website. We have hundreds of uh, Enscape ready to use assets there. You can use them in any modeling software you have. And the next option that we want to consider if you have post processing hab hobby you can uh, uh, export the alpha channel only for example let's bring the camera in here and let's go to, uh, let's close this one and let's go to the settings let's go to the visual settings and in this part in the output part you have a alpha apply alpha channel only and then when you export and when you create a screenshot from your model let's save it in here you will have something like this and the post-processing process will be much easier for you in Photoshop or any other editing software. The next feature that we want to talk is been on top. For example, if you are, if you have uh, been annoyed by this behavior and you can see the uh, Enscape at the top of your Revit or any modeling software you use, the only thing you need to do is to go to the general setting and in the preference part, make sure to check this checkbox and then you are good to go and you can have your Enscape window at the top of your project and the next uh, feature that we want to talk about as you may have understood is the camera thing for example uh, especially in 
ربیت آن آرک کرد. When I'm changing my camera, you can see it is sinking, not really great, but it is sinking with the Enscape, and it is a good feature to have. And you can uh, pause this sinking from here. And now, when I change my camera, the camera in Enscape doesn't sink. And the next uh, feature that we want to talk is replacing the uh, ready uh, materials with the Enscape uh, material assets. For example, I have this test in here. I can replace it very easily with my materials that I have in uh, Enscape material uh, library. For example, let's go to the flooring and let's replace it by this one. Click on replace and can see the update very is uh, really fast and you can see the preview of it too before even replacing and this is really easy to navigate. And the next two features that uh, we have are Japanese languages and also support for SketchUp 2022. And make sure to watch this uh, video to learn animations in Enscape and make stunning animations.